Okay, so in this video I'm going to have a look at theorem number four and I'm going to look at the formal proof for theorem number four which states that the angles in any triangle add up to 180 degrees. Now I've just written on the top here uh, the, the headings that I'm going to use to prove this theorem and they are given to prove construction and proof. So the first thing I'm going to do is just write down what I'm given. So what are we given in this particular question? Well, we're going to be given a triangle. Uh, the triangle will have vertices A, B, C. And it's going to have um, angles. And we'll call them 1, 2, and 3. So this is what we're given. We're given a triangle ABC and it has three angles as well, of course, and we'll call them angles one, two, and three. So usually you're given a diagram as well. So we'll say this is our triangle here and its vertices are ABC and it has angles one, two, and three. So this is what we're given in the question. Um, now, the next thing we need to do is write down what we need to prove. So what we need to prove is the next line here. So what we need to prove is that angle 1 plus angle 2 plus angle 3 all add up to 180 degrees. That's the second part. Next part we're going to write down is the uh, construction. Okay, so the construction will involve the following. Now I'm just going to um, just redraw this uh, triangle here. So it's triangle A, B, and C with angles 1, so it has angles uh, 1, uh, 2, and 3 here. Now what uh, we have to construct here is, you would actually write this down, you would say draw a line. Draw a line through C so we're going to draw a line through the vertex C and it has to be parallel to AB so we're going to draw a line along here it needs to be parallel to this line here AB and we're going to label the angles. So we're going to label the angles. We'll call them uh, 4 and 5. So we're going to draw a line across here like this. It has to go through C. So it's gone through C here. And it's going to be parallel to AB. And we're going to call these angles 4 and 5 here. Okay, so that's our construction. So now let's move on to the last part, which is our proof. So our proof um, is going to involve these, the, these three angles here. So we're going to first of all say that um, angle 4 plus angle 2 plus angle 5 they're equal to 180 degrees and you would usually write down a reason for this afterwards so our reason for this would be because 
it's a straight angle. This line here is a straight line, so this here would be a straight angle. So when we add up these three angles, we get 180 degrees. So you would just write down straight angle here. So that's the first part. Now, we're now going to say that angle 4 and angle 1 are equal. So angle 4 is equal to angle number 1. And the reason for that is their alternate angles. Remember this line and this line are parallel and this line here cuts through those, both of those uh, parallel lines. So angle 4 and angle 1 are alternate. So they're alternate angles. Okay, so we're going to do the same with um, 5 and 3 here. So we know that angle 5 is equal to angle 3 here for the same reason, they're alternate. Alternate angles. Okay. Now, um, so therefore, angles um, angles four plus angle two plus angle five must therefore be equal to angles uh, one plus angle two plus angle three we know that this plus this plus this is 180 degrees. This angle is the same as this. This angle is the same as this. Therefore, if you add these three angles up, it must be the same as adding these three angles up here because that angle is exactly the same as that. That angle is exactly the same as that. So adding these three angles here up is exactly the same as adding these three angles here up. Um, and the reason for that is, of course, that angle uh, 4 is equal to angle 1 and angle 5 is equal to angle 3. Okay, so that's uh, just about it really. Um, we just have to write in the final line here. Because 4, 2 and 5 add up to 180 degrees, and adding 4, 2, and 5 is exactly the same as adding 3, 2, and 1. Therefore, angle 1 plus angle 2 plus angle 3 must equal 180 degrees. And that is it, QED.